felt really supported throughout the whole thing. I mean, from a, you know, from both, like the, you know, everybody, like from staff, from students. You know, we I think we had a full house. You know, as as Angus was said earlier, and that really shows how much the community supported the production, and to have that community support, um, and even emails. I received you know emails of thanks from staff members, from parents. Um, and one parent basically said how the, this production cha had changed and transformed her child's mm. life. I guess for me, music has always been a passion of mine. But once I got the role, I was, you know, I thought I have to, I have to do my best in this. I have to make sure that the production is as good as it can be. Not only in Australia, but globally, um, what an amazing experience for, for, for members of our school to be on that same stage. You always see the microphones, you either hold them or, you know, they're on the side and they're just dangling off the top of our foreheads, which is... It was interesting, it was different. We got, we got good stuff done. It was a good experience and it was a good eye-opener to what it's like to do it professionally, so. I know for you, you, you really excelled on the off-prog side and, and had a bit of a leadership role um, backstage. And you got to listen um, to the comms on um, a couple of occasions. And yes. What was that like for you? Um, it was like a foreign language, but <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny because you'd hear it and you'd see it happen and you'd be like, whoa. That's yeah. The lighting so cool. organised. Yeah, yeah, it was it was good. And I thought the performance was outstanding. Like I really did, and I, I just was so impressed with it. And I thought the stage crew did an amazing job for people who have never ever worked um, and and to do such a good job and actually learn all their cues off by heart. They didn't weren't even looking at a running cue list, you know. Um, I was actually quite floored by the level of professionalism and their ability to engage with it. That nervousness turned into adrenaline, it turned into energy. Exactly, and that was the one thing that we needed in the yes. performance and it just made it so much better. And if you weren't yeah. nervous, I'd be worried. Like, yeah. you're supposed to convert that stage energy into yeah, performance yeah, exactly. energy. That's actually, you know, yeah. what you do. I came away at the end of that first matinee just relieved, yeah. quite honestly. <laughs> oh, to have so many people turn up. You know, particularly on the, the final two nights, oh, it was so incredible. Well. Yes, I was I was thinking, oh, did, that, did they really like it? But by the end, they were all applauding and they were really getting involved, and it was awesome. And they were up on their feet cheering yeah. and doing the cheers with the cheerleaders. You had engaged. You might not have realised it, but the audience loved yeah. the product, the performance. You know, yeah. and I know that um, some people got boyfriends or girlfriends out of it, and so there's a social <laughs> element to it as yeah. well. And yet, you get to collaborate with them on a um, shared project like this. It's wonderful. Meeting all these amazing people from St Clair's that I probably wouldn't have met ever if I hadn't done this production. And that was really cool to form new relationships with everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really great that we're actually catering for um, you know boys that want to express themselves in such a way as, as a musical. Remember, I was so relieved from that first time I came off stage. I was thinking, okay, we've, we've started well, let's keep going. And every time Absolutely. I came off stage, I was thinking, it's getting better and better. So it was awesome. Yeah, it was. My biggest challenge was learning how to throw the strings at the end. <laughs> 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 oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> but no. Um, <laughs> The tough challenge for me was making sure that every prop was there ready. With along with relying on you. Yeah. Mm. That was one of the hardest parts of the production, just making sure everything was ready. Amazing. And it's over a hundred people in the production. Like yeah. that's a lot of people to, that's you know, incredible. organize and to, to commit. Yeah. Um, and, but I think it's such a great payoff when the audience is sitting there and the whole stage is completely full, you know? And um, you, you know all those parents yeah. looking at their child like, you know, so and, proud. And even in the um, the walkways down actually in the auditorium. For me the thing that you know got me was that I was also having these you know amazing conversations and growing relationships with teachers from St Clair's as well and you know it was it was awesome to see that we could all work together. So, and I just felt like I connected to that class and to those boys. This, it's a beautiful connection and bond that we will share for the next two years you know doing this course. We all love theatre um, and so then you know working together was just really united us I think as, as a class. Building close relationships with the rest of my entertainment class who I didn't really know too well until after the production yeah. and knowing that they're all really good guys and also, as Angus mentioned, working with the younger years, getting to know more people from there, which is awesome. And then I see them at school a few days later, I'm like, hey, how's it going? I know you.
Well, you've got a connection with them yeah. which you didn't mm. have before. You know, you've talked about those relationships in the um, in the playground now that you see them, you can say hello to them. Yeah. As before, they just would have been another face. You know, till you finish your 12, you'll have yeah. good relationships now with all the people that you've just worked with. Well, definitely the highlight for me was after everyone had left, all the production had left except for a stage crew and a few band members. And seeing everything being dismantled, seeing how many things were actually connected, and it was just like the big wall dropping, the lights coming down, the big screens being moved. It was just to see everybody enjoying the experience and being creative and to see that happening on all, so multiple levels uh, across multiple disciplines in such a professional way, it really was um, incredibly rewarding for me. Now we get to keep it for the rest of our lives. Yes. And, uh, like that's awesome. I think everyone's gonna look back on this and go, I'm glad I was part of it. I'm glad that you know I was involved in it. Being the the main male role of the cast, it wasn't a right, it was a privilege. Even if you're a musician in a band, you're part of the chorus, you're a stage crew, or if you're a lead, any of it, it's all important, like the power, I guess, to sing or to move on a prop or to play an instrument, it's just it's just good. You can you can do all that. Like it's within reach of everyone. We have sporting fields, we have all these classrooms for academics, but then we also have buildings specifically designed for people that want to excel in the performing arts. For me personally, I find that going to drama, music, entertainment, any of those subjects, it's just, oh, I'm free, I can do something I enjoy.